Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to the Loading Company presents Gizmos and Gadgets, a Super Solver Science Adventure. And holy crap, this game was hard to get to work. <laughs> Properly with dust parts and traps, but anyway. Marty Matswell, the master of mischief, has moved into the Shady Glean Technology Center and taken over as the head scientist. Just my head set up a bit more. Okay. Your job is to accept Marty's challenge and prove that you are a better scientist than he is. Marty has locked the doors in the warehouse for science puzzles. Show him how much you know about science by itself in the puzzles. Then go through the doors, find the best vehicle parts, and build faster vehicles than Marty builds. To make your job more difficult, Marty's sneaky so gems are collecting vehicle parts too. Outsmart the gems by throwing bananas to them and making them take a nap. Race against Morty win all 15 of the challenge races. You will reclaim the technology center and be the head scientist. And there's Morty Matswell. Yeah. That goes down. Anyway, in the first. Ah, wait, I have to go over this too. That there's a cyber chimp. It's a complete asshole. That there was another cyber chimp. That one there was not. Uh, this complete asshole is the last one, but yeah. In the Windows version, basically, there it goes into the blimp and shows a scene where Marty's explaining his plan to the cyber chimps. But since this is not the Windows version, and instead the DOS version, we don't get to see it. Instead, we get. Yes, there's basically a lot of changes between the Windows and DOS version. Like, a bunch of sound issues that. There's not. I mean, there's not as much sound options and things as in. The Windows first, but yeah. Anyway, we all have our names in the computer thingy, so yeah, we can sign in anytime we want. But firstly, let's tell you all about how much trouble I had with this thing. Okay, the first few attempts, we basically tried this. It was basically flat screen. So if you move mouse, it clears up. Basically like that. Like you had to wipe it all away. It's the first on every single area, so yeah. That and Fraps was not properly recording when it should have been recording, which pissed me off. Now I'm. Now that I fixed the full screen issue, and I fixed it so it would to wear Fraps, which I should have done before I even began on Hocus Pocus. Yeah, but yeah. Now there's a nice little Fraps logo down here, so I can actually tell if I'm recording properly, which is good. Also, we won't be doing much of Bash because I ran into issues where I couldn't figure out what the hell I had to do excessively. And as much as I'd love to ramble excessively in there about trying to figure out what I was trying to do, let us just begin on this. This is Super Star Wars Gizmos and Gadgets. And basically, it is a lot easier than. <laughs> Platforming for me. Oh wait, there is platforming in it, what am I saying? Anyway, let's show you what we have to work with. There's aircraft, alternative energy, and automotive. We will be dealing with aircraft at the moment. So yeah, we get to drop down this tube. That's us right there. Anyway, we click on the blueprint, and we will be working on a blimp. You can choose one of four decals for your vehicle. The decals will not affect your vehicle speed, you stupid dumbass. You can paint your vehicle one of four colors. The paint will not affect your vehicle speed, you stupid dumbass. The balloon shape of the blimp is called the envelope. The envelope holds the helium gas that helps lift the blimp into the air. A fat envelope has the most air resistance or drag. A narrow envelope has the least amount of drag and will not help and will help make the fastest blimp. So basically Take note of the keynote too. A fat envelope is basically completely useless and sucks ass. A narrow envelope is what we're after though. So yeah. The engine provides thrust or push need to move the blimp forward, up and down. All of the engines in this race give the same power. The position of the engine will affect your blimp speed. An engine that is behind the gondola will help make the fastest blimp. So don't put the engine in front of the gondola, because that's just silly. Gondola for a blimp is where the pilot and passengers sit. Gondola can be attached to the bottom of the blimp's envelope, or can be inside the envelope. 
attach gunners at air resistance. Or drag them and slow the blimp down. A gondola hanging from the blimp will make the most drag. A gondola inside the envelope will not add any drag. So basically put a gondola inside the blimp so basically everyone inside of it dies from helium. Yeah, perfect sense. Don't tell me how I'm supposed to figure that one out, but oh well. Anyway, in the Windows version there would be more options and things and whatever. Anyway. Now I'm gonna leave this off here and make sure Fraps is actually recorded. And we're back. And everything's working fine. Now it took me 11 frickin' attempts to do this, but... Yay. Yay. Yes, this here is also a continuation of the 100 subscriber series. Because... I decided, why not? It'll probably be up after... Hocus Pocus, of course. Which I haven't started uploading yet, because I'm still waiting for 100 subscribers, which we are close to. We're at, like, when I'm recording this at the moment, we're at, we're at 97 subscribers, so we're getting there. But anyway, let's go. And here is the... I don't need... I don't need hints. Grr. Anyway, here's the game. Basically, you press control and you can run. However, I cannot jump going to the right with that because yeah oh well, you've got the report you need to build a vehicle click on this picture to read more about it's a medium thickness envelope and what's in hell that monkey at the sandwich is probably gonna come in here and try to steal my stuff so yeah we got decoration a rainbow decal ah shit oh. you ass eat the banana you bastard Give me my freaking thing. It is the right thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Damn cyber chimp. I should have predicted that one to happen, though. The issue here is I'm going to have to be platforming properly because. Yeah, I can only do jumps like that. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this properly, am I? I need to be able to, I think it, later on I'm going to have to need to be able to jump. Which is going to be bad. Give me a second, you know. Uh, shit, how the fuck do I change controls? Is there even a way to change control? Can't remember. Yes. Okay, there's no way to change controls this though. What I need is basically these to be able to use my WASD keys now, because yeah. I can only walk jump, which is gonna come in problematic in the later levels, probably. But yeah, turn on the light bulb and make a complete electrical circuit. Uh huh. I don't know why we want to come into this one, but what was that? But oh, fat info. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Such that I can only do my flips that way because yeah, can't do it that way because well, my keyboard does not allow me to use both. I can still do it if I basically stop pushing right. Okay, I can work with this, I think. I can't just push all the keys at once, like there. I have to basically stop pushing one of the keys to basically jump like that. Okay, I see what to do. I can work with this. I can work with it. Okay, that was not working with it at all. <laughs> I love how I say that, that I fail. Yeah. Anyway, more electrical switches. Simple puzzles at the start. It gets difficult later on. At the moment, it's shit. But that was fun. That was my decal. Blue paint. Yellow paint. Oh yeah. 
And what the hell did that bastard go? Shit! <laughs> wow. Back, back here, you bastard. Suck it! Go in my frickin' decal or something back. I want my frickin' rainbow. That, that's not even my stu- What the f- I'm not even gonna argue, I'm just gonna go up here. Yeah. Anything actually in here worth my time? No, there is not. Wait, I stopped running. There we go. Now then, eventually. In the Windows version, you can basically go to options and basically turn off power servers that you don't want to do. So eventually, you'd have to do them anyway. But yeah. Eventually, you'll do all the power servers and you'll just start repeating doing several of them. But anyway, I'm me with this envelope. Yay. Also, I hate those ledges like that. You basically go through door and basically drops you instantly. Okay, let's go over here, so it's in... No, not jump, go inside the building. I mean, door, whatever. Now then, how this, what this has to do with science, I don't know. But yeah, it's a puzzle. That was easy. You solved the puzzle. What that has to do with science, I have no idea, but it's solved. And what was that? Uh, let me read my damn decal. Stars and stripes. What's over here? Let's find out together. Oh, this one here. These are magnets. They become a dick later on to f solve. At the moment, they're just. Easy enough. Just place, place. Eventually, they solve like that. See, easy enough. Now there's three boxes here. Bananas, and that's that fat envelope that I don't freaking want. Ah, here's a good one. Gears. Poke. There, that works. Okay, so I think I have to go. Oh yeah, that was my fault. Ah. Memory to push that key is difficult to. But anyway, let's see. Ah, uh, this one here. Gravity. I'm gonna try set. Wait. Ah. Wait, what? There we are. It's like, wait, I can't shoot it though? What the hell? Okay. Apparently, I just couldn't reach back. If there's nothing in hell. Ooh. There's lots of boxes up there. So probably we want this door here, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Probably not. Well, that was easy enough. Eh, this one has a bunch of boxes too. Let's go see what they are. Racing B. A red tango gun attach the envelope. Okay. I probably won't be using yellow paint. Red paint. Aw oh, yeah. Engine behind the gun. That's better. And what's down here? Why oh, look, it's this stupid thing. No, don't wake up. I'm on to you. Eventually later on they get shorter sleeping time. Time so they don't Yeah. I'm saying a bunch of words, but they're not making sense, are they? I need to stop rambling. 
Ah, she focus hill. Okay, this should take us to the four boxes that were in here. Should anyway. Place the separate machines on the matching parts. Then check your answer. Booyah. Yay. Now that we have four boxes. Engine in front of the gondola. <laughs> that was stupid. Gondola inside the blimp's envelope. Is behind the gondola? Two engines behind the gondola. And... A no envelope, I think? Oh, we don't need any more parts. I don't think. Hmm. What am I doing? Gah! What am I doing? I'm not entirely sure. Ah, that was... Shit. My fault. Bad. Okay, let's just... Try that again. I need to stop, I need to stop running so much. I don't you really jump one way that way, but anyway. There we go. Let's see what's in here. Ah, this one here is fun. Mechanical energy. Heat. That. It's electrical, I think. Could be heat. Not apparently electrical. Yay. Yay. Enter. Pick up the bots. It's paint. Oh, I'll throw my blue paint. Green paint? Okay. Red and green will work. You're gonna use one though, but still. That will, those choices will work for me. Anything else that I need? Uh, that's probably even worse than ours. Gunner, round it in. Attach the envelope. Don't know what that would look like, but we'll find out once we get back. At least it's not on string or some silly crap like that. Anyway, mechanical. Heat. And chemical. Yay for poise. Yay for chemicals. And yay for popcorn. Okay, let's just get out of here. We've got all, pretty much all we need to win this race. The first thing is you don't really need all the best. But it helps. But anyway. No envelope. Medium thickness. They look about the same, but anyway, no envelope. Eh, I guess it's a bit thicker, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's a bit thicker. Alright, go back here. Into behind. Into behind. No, I, I want the paint. Green. Red. That's better. Red. Why not? Now then, gun inside the blimp's envelope. It looks odd, but it shall work. Okay, let's do this. Now we go watch the race. And there goes mine. Mew. See you later, Marty. I mean, Marty.
Well, that was easy. <laughs> he didn't even get it time to finish. Congratulations, you won the race, and have reached the rank of assistant. You need a score of 30,000 to move up to the next rank. Keep up the good work. Now in the winner's version, he'd speak. He'd be like, oh, drats, I'll win next time, though. But yeah. We got a nice little trophy. Yay for little trophy. Anyway, to the next level. Because obviously, we're not done with aircraft yet. We're gonna make a sailplane. So what do we need? Ah yes, the body of your sailplane is called the Fierce Fiercer Lodge. This is where the pilot sits. The less air resistance or drag the Fierce Lodge makes, the faster your sailplane can go. A uh, Fierce Lodge that is small and has an enclosed cockpit will make the least amount of drag. Okay. And landing gear. The landing gear helps your sailplane take off and land safely. When your sailplane is flying, the less air resistance or drag the landing gear makes, the faster your sailplane can go. Landing gear with a single retractable wheel makes the least amount of drag. I see. Airfoils. The airfoil is the shape of the wing that lifts your sailplane so it can fly. The less drag your airfoil makes as it lifts your plane, the faster your plane can go. Curved airfoils make less drag than flat airfoils, and airfoils with both the top and bottom curving down make even less drag. A laminar flow airfoil makes the least amount of drag, so we're looking for that basically. And the wings. Sailplanes have no engines, so you would need the wings to lift your plane into the air and help it fly. The less drag the wings make, the faster your plane will climb. All the wings available to you have the same surface area. For those wings, the longer the wing, the less drag it makes. The longest wing available to you is a 60 foot wing. The wing with the least amount of drag will also have winglets on the tip. Okay then. Instruments. Pilots need special instruments to tell them how fast the plane is climbing and how high up they are. The instruments can show the pilot where the plane is in an updraft. A plane can fly faster when it is in an updraft. An altimeter tells how high the plane is, but doesn't help the pilot as much as a rate of climb indicator. The best instrument is a ferrometer. Don't have to click on those since we all know those. But anyway, landing gear. The landing gear helps your sailplane take off and land safely. When your sailplane is flying, the less air resistance or drag the landing gear makes, the faster your sailplane can go. Landing gear with a single retractable wheel makes the least. Alright, oh, that's the same as that. Silly thing. Anyway, basically, we got what we need to know. Oh wait, controls. Why did I not click on? Also, planes need basic controls to fly. To help your plane go faster, you need you can add an extra controls to the wing that affect how well your sailplane lifts and descends. Spoilers help you take the most direct route to the place you want to land. And flaps help you use updraft to climb. The height you reach can then help you go faster. Flapperons will help your sailplane go the fastest. And yes, there's a lot of reading. It's going to tire my throat out. Oh, and now we have these. But anyway, let's go switch through this door. Oh, look, magnets. Magnets. And then rotate. And rotate. Huzzah! Magnets done! What's in here that's so important? Ooh, that's not bad. Um, um medium fossil roof enclosed. Not bad. What's this? A large fierce large roof enclosed. I think I'm looking for a small. By the way, go through here. Uh, yeah, see those doors? You'd have to go through all that just to get to the last. It's no idea if any of that would be useful, but anyway, what's this? Basic controls plus spoilers. Uh, 150 square foot, 60 foot wing. That's good, but 
that's a weak tip, I don't think. F of both top and bottom, Kofi down. Okay, balance the scale. This is simple. Behold, it's balanced. Green paint. Please don't turn my car. Oh, this here's a dick. Shit. Oh, I got bananas. Meh. Ledges. Okay, what's well over the hill? Don't drop down just yet. Wait till it goes back over the hill. Okay, drop down. Banana! Banana! That's not banana! I said banana! Banana! You bastard wasting my bananas. Oh, more. Grr! What the hell did he give me now? Rate of climb indicator. That's useful, I suppose. Yay. Okay. So, yeah, we're on the other side. There's more than one level on this map. Yay. And more bananas. Lovely. What's in here? Oh, this this is simple. Just one, two, and three. Done. Oh shit! Bastard. Basic controls. Yay! Oh no! D don't you ass! Do you? You asshole! Get back here and eat it! What the hell did he give me? Ever top curving down and bottom curving up. That might be useful. I think that's the one I already had, but yeah. That stupid monkey owned my ass. Took most of my crap. Even took my paint. Bastard. This is a puzzle. Behold the puzzle. Behold the puzzle. Okay, what's well, over here? Oh. Hello, monkey. You, you dick! Come on, go through here before he turns around and walks over me. You bastard. Give me my crap back. That's... Trap. Ah, stupid cypher chips. Shoot the watermelon into the flashing hole. I'm gonna guess three. Nope. I'm gonna guess four. Wait, what? That's better. in here. It's probably those damn cyber chips got such good steals off me. Usually I can at least not end up in that situation that I ended up in. I just got my ass owned by them. See what this work does. Ooh. 
shit. That was my fault. I tried running. Medium. I don't think I need large. I think I need small. I have climb indicator. I want those two. But let's get what we can here. Um, go for a flat bottom. So I need one thing. So I have. Holy shit. Yeah, I got the best line you get. You have two air side by side. Meh. Stars and stripes decal. Red paint. Mayor, I climb into here. Okay, I just need one more part. What the hell is it? Do I have my controls? These are controls. Yes, we have controls. We have a fuselage we need. Oh, we need the wing. Derp. It's like, what do I need? We need wings. I mean, it is a freaking plane. Now that you're probably wondering how are we going to do this, why well, it's quite simple, really. All I have to do is get back up to where we were previously. Now let's see if we can do this. There we go. Take a falcon decal. And bananas. No wings for us. Pity. Now that this should be simple enough. Done. Aw oh, yeah. Okay, what's well, back over here? I don't need anything new for that. I need wings. I should go through here and go to the other side anyway. Okay, this is simple enough, isn't it? Place these two things here. And done. Um. Didn't see what that was. I'm guessing. There was the paint, but yeah. Flashes by too quickly. Ah, here we go. Something. Um, have we done this? I think we might have. But anyway, there's a circuit. It's easy. Turn around. So. Booyah. What do you have? A decal. What is it? Why is a racing helmet decal and not a racing B? Interesting. But now, place, place. That does not work. Place, place. That works. Eh, uh, 40 square foot wing. Yeah. Not that good of weighing, to be honest. Oh god, there's a giant mouth! Oh god, teeth! Oh god, apple! Oh god! Arr. Oh god, it's coming after the apple, but yeah. You solved the puzzle! Congratulations! I need better wings. Yeah. Shoot the water manager with the flashing hole. Sit. Yay. Grr. I need a freaking 60 foot wing. 
And the chimp stole my good one, so yeah. We have to go through all this crap now. Well, the fit gets even longer. Grr. There. Okay, put, please be a good... Ah. I need a wing, damn it! Nuclear energy from uranium, mechanical, and light. It melts. Oh god, it melted. Radiation. Yay. Now let's go in here and see what's over here. What could it be? Why, it's a seesaw. Simple. Please be a wing. Uh, Rainbow, yeah, now we're talking. Yes, I might just try to tempt her with the 40 foot wing. Everything else is pretty much good. But I can't find a good wing, so yeah. A pity. Oh well. Let's go on. Let's see how it works. I'm, I'm gonna check on this. Yes, yeah, small is the best, so yeah. Okay. That looks medium. That, uh, that small. Of course, that's small. Look at that thing. There's like a break that in two with my own hands. Basic controls plus spoilers. Basic controls plus flapperons. I forgot on these though. Okay, a laminar thing or curved airflow is my last drag. Airflow is both the top and bottom curve. Damn, my even less drag. That works. Uh, barometer. Single earth, that could be retractable. Rainbow! And... Yeah, that's better. And now these crappy wings. But let's see how well it does. So basically, yeah. Wow, that, wow, just because I didn't take the, get sissy foot wings I lost, wow, now here's where he gloat me, but since he can't in this version, we just head back to the workshop, seriously, screw you wings. You suck. You made me lose. Just because of how grr. Bounce the scale. But seriously. Okay, there's nothing in there. I'll go through this one. Place a light bulb and a wire. Let's see how this works. And it still works. Nothing whatsoever. Okay, screw the top. Ooh, now we're getting into complicated stuff.
That works. Yeah. It's good. Go over the hill. That's a jump. Jump. Yeah. Doubt game. Go. Okay, okay, let's try that again. That's better. Stupid keys. They annoy me. Yes, that's one of those. I don't need that. What I need is a fucking wing. Lucky those things are still there. Good yeah. They must be tortured for that insolence. I've got that all over here, aren't they? What do you have? Nope, don't give a damn. Oh, this is gonna suck, though. Oh, no, never mind. Shit, throw! That's not throwing. Bastard! Get back here, you bastard. Now it's owning time. Uh, can't pick up. It's good. Start to drive. It's good. Girl. Anyway, pieces. It's a nail, is it? Why, yes, it is. We have red. We don't really need anything else. Uh, we should go up there. And it's a. Uh, um, I'm not entirely sure what it is. That go there. Ah, uh, I see. I see, I see. Okay, then. Uh, okay, that's a better wing, but not the wing I want. Grr. Grr. Those damn monkeys stole the wing I want. And I can't have it back. It's a horrible, horrible story. But yeah. Damn you, monkeys. Shit, throw! Ah, God damn it. Shit! You ass! God damn it. 
I have no idea which one has the damn thing. I honestly don't give a damn now. I'm just gonna go to that. <sighs> These controls are bothering me, because, yeah, I can't run and jump properly. Jump, I said. <laughs> you piece of... Okay, jump. <laughs> no. Okay, fine. I'll just walk. Yeah, it's good. Oh yeah. Anyway, next. Damn fucking chimps pissing me off. Grr. Hi. Anyway. I want I want that chimp. Hacks! Hacks, I tell you! What the hell is he going? You have to screw up, this video's going on way too long. Because those damn shimps stole my good frickin' wings. Anyway, we've... I suppose just put on the wing we can. Works. Come on, work. Come on, come on. No. Grr, bastard, bastard, bastard. Why you're just making this video longer than need be? You ass. Where is this goddamn sissy for wing? And screw you, chaps. You suck balls. Give me my wing. I said, give me my wing. What was that? That's better. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna put this little thing and fly out of hell. Where's my wing? Okay, I have to take the I have to take those off. Put that there. Put that. Go back. Where's my basic control things? It is with flaperons, right? Flaperons! Okay, let's do this this time. We should not lose this time. But yet we barely won. Odd. Assistant, zero assistant. Oh, look at that in the next episode. As for now, hope you all enjoyed so far. Thank you all and have a nice day.